The best raw cat food for beginners is already complete and balanced. You can get it at your local pet store, and I even have some coupon codes for you so you can save money. The first one that we'll talk about is Steve's Real Food, also called Quest Food. This is freeze-dried raw food, so it's very easy for beginners, especially if your cat's eating dry food, because it looks similar and the texture is similar, so you can probably feed it without your cat even realizing it. And this one is already complete and it has all whole foods, including ground beef, beef hearts, beef kidney, beef liver, raw goat's milk, ground beef bone, flaxseed inulin, dried kelp, chia seeds, organic coconut oil, and ground eggshell. So it has a lot of meat-based ingredients with muscle meat, bones, and organs. And the rest of the ingredients are very minimal but necessary to complete the diet. Because if you think about it in the wild, cats would eat the entire prey. So they would eat the eyes, the tongue, the all of the glands, the spleen, all of the secreting organs, the skin, the blood, the entire prey plus the fact that they eat five to seven different proteins in the wild, that really completes their diet. So when you can't use those other secreting organs and glands, that's why these additional ingredients are necessary. And this is much better than a long list of synthetic supplements, whole natural foods. And it is at local pet food stores, so just go on their website, search by zip code, or if you want to buy online, you can check out my coupon code in the description to save 20% off your first purchase. The next best raw cat food brand for beginners is Small Batch, and their frozen raw sliders are also very easy to portion and serve, especially if you have multiple cats because you can do multiple patties and then just chop them up into chunks. This one is also already complete and they use mostly whole food ingredients, including turkey, turkey nuts, turkey liver, turkey hearts, turkey gizzards, salmon oil. So a lot of meat-based ingredients, lots of variety, that's great. And then they use organic dandelion greens, apple cider vinegar, kelp, bee pollen, barley grass, cranberries, and a vitamin E supplement. So the only synthetic there is the vitamin E supplement and vitamin E is necessary to preserve the food. It is a fat soluble vitamin, but it's also an antioxidant. This one is great also because there's a lot of protein variety especially compared to Steve's. This one's also at local pet food stores, so just check their website and put your zip code in. Give me a polydactyl thumbs up if this is helpful so far so more cat parents that want to feed their cats better can find this video. Thank you. So I've been a paying customer of Hair Today since 2019, and Jericho's loved everything that I've gotten from them. He's tried their meat, bones, and organ grinds from chicken, turkey, duck, rabbit, beef. He's also had their whole carcass ground mouse and ground quail. And he's also had some whole chunks like turkey gizzards, chicken necks, and so much more. So I like Hair Today a lot because of the variety that they have. And they're also licensed with the FDA, they're USDA inspected. Pretty much most of their meats are USDA inspected and passed. The only ones that aren't are things like beef lung and gullet, because that stuff isn't considered human edible, but it's great for cats and dogs. They have meat, bones, and organs grinds to which you would add your own supplements, so that makes making homemade cat food really easy. So it includes a variety of meats, bones, and organs in each mix. And on each product page, they show you a breakdown of each ingredient. They also use ADF to show their nutritional analysis, so the ingredients that they use and the nutrition that it provides. They get from the same farms, they go to restaurants and grocery stores, so the same types of meats that we would buy for ourselves. So for the meat, bones, and organs grinds, they have Alnutrin nutritional supplements and fish oil supplements. So if you wanna use a meat, bones, and organs grinds, you would get alnitrin for meat and bone. So that requires the meat, bones, and organs. If you wanted to use boneless meats, you would use the alnitrin plus calcium. You would also need to get one of their organ mixes. And the organ mixes comes with muscular organs and secreting organs, and liver is always included. So that's required for both alnitrin supplements. So if you do the meats, bones, and organs, then that would include the secreting organ liver plus muscle meats and bones. That's alnitrin for meat and bone. For alnitrin plus calcium, you would use boneless meats plus the organs mix. Then you would add fish oil at mealtime. You can also use their raw feeding ratio calculator if you wanted to do a prey model raw diet and then figure out your own supplements. So when you do is choose cat and then choose your ingredients, mess with the weight, and it's going to show you on the graph where you are with 
the actual versus the recommended. So they have whole cuts of muscle meats, they have whole cuts of muscular organs, they have raw meaty bones, and they also have secreting organs. Their whole prey does come from breeding facilities, lane labs, and rodent pro, and it says it on those products pages. I also really like Hair Today because they have an excellent rewards program. So you just create an account and every time you order, you earn discount points that you can then exchange on your next order for dollars off. You can also write a testimony, write reviews, you can share a picture, you can like them on Facebook, you can share a link with your friends and family like I do with you. So there's a referral link in the description and then you'll earn discount points again on your account. And these discount points really come in handy because Sometimes I get free shipping. I actually have a bunch of discount points waiting in there. So I'm going to do a bulk order for Jericho and I'll make a video of a Hair Today haul so you can see everything that I get from them. Hair Today also made it on Susan Thixton's 2023 list. This is the second year in a row that they're on the list. And, they also, and that means that they provide documentation, verification, and certification to Susan Thixton. She runs truthaboutpetfood.com. I'll put the li link to her list in the description below. But she asks a lot of detailed questions and, and has them prove basically that they are human grade, the animals are raised humanely, and that they're USDA inspected. So, and, they, and then Hair Today also has a pet food pledge that's hosted on Susan Thixon's website. They list the individual product, whether it's USDA inspected in past, whether it's humanely raised, and the country of origin. So they're very, very transparent about all of their products, and they've been in business since 1999. So I really like them and I know you will too. The next best cat food brand of 2022 that we'll talk about is Viva Raw. So they are also USDA inspected and passed and they're also humanely raised human grade meats. Right now they have their pure blends for cats. So this would also require supplements. There's a lot of variety, less variety than here today, but still a good variety. So they have beef, chicken, turkey, duck, and rabbit. You can choose from chunked or fine ground. The rabbit will always be fine ground. But if you want to do some chunked, then you'll have like larger pieces for your cat to actually chew on, which is super important. Ground raw is still a great step up, much, much better than, you know, kibble and canned food, of course. But ideally, cats would be chewing down and crunching on meaty bones and some muscle meats because that provides mental stimulation, some dental health benefits, and, you know, the list goes on facial muscles. So, it would be nice to try the chunks if your cat's new to raw, maybe go with ground since that's a more similar texture to wet food, then you can try the chunked in the future. But rabbit will always be fine ground. So I tested Viva Raw with my mom's four cats recently and they were all licking the package clean. They were licking the mixing bowl clean. They licked their plates clean. They didn't even leave a mess on the table. Viva Raw sent their products to get nutritionally analyzed. So what they recommend is using the Alnutrin for meat and bone or they also have a DIY supplement recipe that goes with their actual products. So all of the links and everything that you need, all of the instructions, the recipes, I made two separate quick guides, one for Hair Today and one for Viva Raw. So check the description, check the pinned comment. It's like a magazine style PDF. So it has everything that you need, but it's super quick, super clean super easy to follow. So it has all of the links, it has all of the instructions and recipes and everything that you need. Additionally, you can use the link in the description for Viva Raw to save 20% off your first order. They also have a nice rewards program and that's how I'm able to give you the 20% off. And then I also get rewards points which I can then exchange for food for my mom's four cats and four dogs. Viva also made it on Susan Thixton's 2023 list. Very grateful for that. And I'm very grateful to have these brands that are actually being transparent and prove that they are indeed human grade quality. And they actually have their foods tested, analyzed, so that we can be sure that what we're feeding is actually complete and balanced. These cat feeding essentials are more sanitary than plastic, and they also help your cat's natural desires and instincts. This helps your cat feel safe and comfortable in his territory and can also prevent stress. So the first feeding essential that I'll talk about is a food grade silicone mat. I use this for Jericho to feed his food. I love it because it's large, it's easy to clean up. I can spread out his raw food and bones on the mat so that he can walk around and have lots of space. 
It's also perfectly flat, which cats prefer. They don't like their whiskers touching things while they eat because this can cause whisker stress and fatigue. They can actually feel things in their whiskers. They can control them. They have nerve endings in their whiskers. So flat is much better than a deep bowl. The food mat is also very easy to clean. I use this when I meal prep Jericho's food. I to keep my counter sanitary. I just put it under everything and just pick everything up when I'm done and throw it in the sink and wash it. Very, very easy. And I'll include a link to all of these feeding essentials in the description below. The next feeding essential is to use a stainless steel, ceramic, or glass food plate if you're not going to use the mat and bowl for the cat's water. So I already mentioned before that shallow is best. You wanna have very, very shallow bowls and plates for water and food. I actually use a shallow food plate for Jericho's water. And if you don't wanna use a water plate or bowl, you wanna use a fountain, I would suggest doing stainless steel, glass, or ceramic. Avoid plastic because plastic traps bacteria even with regular washing. And if you're going to choose a fountain, make sure that the surface is flat and there's not a lot of things going on around the cat, like where the cat would go and drink. Because again, they don't want like their whiskers touching things while they're eating and drinking. The next feeding essential that I'll talk about is food puzzle toys. This is great for mental stimulation and enrichment. It can also help prevent the scarf and barf if your cat eats too quickly. And it can also help with cats that are overweight or obese. Maybe you want them to eat smaller meals more frequently or you want them to exercise a little bit more. These can be really great. And the first one I would suggest is a food foraging mat. So this one that I have is really nice. It's made out of fabric, so you can just throw it in the wash after you're done using it. And it's, so it isn't plastic, which is a big plus. There's also puzzle toys. These are mainly geared towards dogs, but maybe your cat has advanced from the food foraging mat and wants to try something a little bit more advanced, then you can use these food puzzle toys too. And there's also this Cat Amazing cardboard. They actually sent me free ones. Thank you so much. They sent me free puzzles to test them out. So yesterday I set it up and Jericho was pawing at it with, with toys. So you can use it for toys as well, but you can also use it for treats. It's made out of cardboard. We all know that cats love cardboard because cardboard is made from trees and trees are the cat's natural scratching posts. That's why your cat often likes the box better than the actual toy. And this is very interesting too because they actually use colors that are more on the feline spectrum. So it's it's very cat friendly. The next feeding essential that you'll need is healthy treats. And for these, I would suggest freeze dried or dehydrated muscle meats and organs. So the brands that I like to use are Feline Natural and Pet Tao because they use a lot of organs and organ meats are very high in vitamins and minerals. I like to hide these around the apartment for Jericho to hunt because this is the best way to simulate the hunting experience indoors. I hide them on glass jar lids, but you can also use those food puzzle toys that I mentioned before. There are also treat release toys that are kind of similar to puzzle toys. So I would suggest maybe checking out Doc and Phoebe's feeder mice. Again, they're made out of plastic, but that's kind of unavoidable when it comes to treat release toys. They're shaped like mice and you can hide them around your apartment. The cat has to paw at it and knock it over so that the treats fall out. The next cat feeding essential that you'll need is a digital food scale. So this is crucial for feeding your cat because you don't want to over or under feed your cat. Feeding too much food can lead to weight gain and obesity and feeding not enough food can lead to nutrient deficiencies and your cat could get too skinny. So I would suggest a food scale that weighs in grams, ounces, and pounds because you can also use it to weigh your cat. The food scale that I have weighs up to 12 pounds, so this is perfect for Jericho. So if your cat is a bit overweight, just be mindful of that. Check the description before you buy it to make sure that it can actually hold up the weight of your cat. The first best cat toy we'll talk about is called the Kitty Whip Wands Toy. So this is made out of wood. This is reclaimed and upcycled wood. There's a metal coil on it that holds the cotton wand string in place. They also have leather and sizal options. I went with the cotton one. So this alone is really great because it kind of looks like a mouse tail. So you can, you know, move it around and make it go around really slowly. And then your cat is like, ooh, what is that? I also like to tie other toys to it. So I have this feather that came with another wands toy. I just tie the string around it, move it slowly on Jericho's condos, and then he chases after it, jumps up and down and chases after it. I also tie little rabbit fur toys on 
the end of it. And that brings me to the next best natural cat toys for cats. These are rabbit fur toys. This one has some duck feathers on it. This one has some leather. This one is just the rabbit fur. There's little yarn strings that you can tie to the Kitty Whip wand toy. That's what I do. And then this also came with a corkscrew. And then these are made out of cheesecloth. That's so cool. So no plastic, which is really nice. And you can tie these to the wand toy. So I tie the rabbit fur to Kitty Whip wand toy. Jericho loves to bonnie kick them. And I wave them around him. He bats at them. He paws at them. He really loves to catch and kill it. And these are great for cats because they're natural and they are also part of the cat's natural prey. Maybe they wouldn't eat ducks, but they would eat some birds. So duck feathers are still a close resemblance to their natural prey. This is going to attract your cat immediately because it's natural, there's no synthetics, it's not plastic. So your cat knows what it is and is more likely to play with it. I also tease the rabbit fur and the feathers on Jericho's ladder. So he really likes to see it and then not see it, see it and then not see it, and then he pounces. There's also this really cool rat toy. It's made out of wool and you can use it as a wand toy. And you can see Jericho's got a lot of use out of it, but he likes when I move it under his condo, like in and out of his sight so that he can paw at it. And then he'll also bite it and grab it and bunny kick it. He has a lot of fun with this toy. The next natural toy we'll talk about is called Matatabi sticks. They're also known as silver mine sticks. So this is a great catnip alternative. Actually in a study, cats preferred silver vine when compared to catnip. And the other one is valerian root. They like silver vine the most, then catnip, and then valerian root. So these sticks are really great. Jericho loves it when I tap them on the floor, and then I slide, and then slide, and then slide, and let go of them. They slide across the floor. Jericho goes crazy. He loves to run and chase them and go after them when I slide them across the floor. I'll also slide these on under the door. I have about an inch between the door and the floor. So I'll slide these on the floor, and Jericho, again, he, he sees it, he doesn't see it, and he likes to paw them and, and chew them too. The next natural cat toy we'll look at is these wool dust bunnies. So this company makes little wool balls. So they're, it's wool. They also make cotton and hemp if you don't want to use the animal products, but I mean, these are really great. They attract your cat nat immediately because they're natural. So Jericho likes to catch these. I toss them to him. Even if he's being a little lazy laying in bed, I just toss them to him. He bites them and bunny kicks them and then I toss them again and he, he repeats it. You know, we don't have to make our cats run a marathon every time we play with them. As long as they're interested in the toys and as long as they're getting interested in playing with them. You can also attach these to the kitty whip toy so you can just tie it around the ball and then use that as a wand toy instead of the plastic ones that you generally see online. The next natural cat toy that we'll talk about is the Ripple Rug. So the Ripple Rug is actually made out of recycled plastic bottles. There's a top and a bottom. The bottom is flat and then the top has hook loop fastening strips that you attach to the bottom. And there's little holes and you can form it so that there's ripples, hence the name Ripple Rug. And I hide toys and treats in there. I also take the Kitty Whip wand toy handle, move that underneath the ripples so you, your cat can see the movement but doesn't really quite know what it is. And that's really going to stimulate the hunting drive. First thing that we'll talk about is scratching. And all cats scratch is a natural instinct and it's really great for them. It's a natural stress reliever. They do it to mark their territory. They do it to shed dead layers of their claws. And they also do it when they're excited. So it's a really, really great thing when your cat scratches. And Jericho just recently got a new scratcher called Perfect Post. This is made by a veterinarian that's actually trying to prevent the declawing of cats. Please don't declaw your cat, it's a very horrendous procedure. Scratching is a natural thing that we should encourage our cats to do, and Jericho loves his scratcher. He also has a carpet scratcher in this room, and he also has a cat ladder, which has carpet, scratch-friendly carpet, on each step. And that brings me to the next cat essential, which is very tall, climbable cat condos or trees. So the cat ladder is very large. It's very tall. It has six steps. So Jericho can run up and down. And cats really like to be up high because then they can survey their territory. Yes, your home is your cat's territory. It doesn't belong to you. It's his territory. And they like to do this because they like to survey their territory from up high. That way they can cover a lot of distance. 
They do this outside so that they can protect themselves and feel safe. So they want to do that inside as well. As an added bonus, you can put the Takondo or the tree next to the window. This provides endless entertainment. Even if your view stinks, cats love looking outside. Actually, when I was a cat sitter, one of the cats was sitting in the window looking outside and the view was literally the building across the alleyway. So it wasn't like pretty trees and a park. It was another building. And across the, across the way, another cat was sitting in the window looking out. So there's always something to look at. Other cats, birds, leaves, bugs. There's always something to look at outside and that will provide endless entertainment to your cat. By the way, I'll put all links to all of Jericho's supplies in the description below. And that brings me to the next cat essential, which I love, is called the window perch. And I really like this because it doesn't take up a lot of floor space. So this is really great for small spaces. The cat ladder also, it only takes about like two feet of floor space. So it's really great. So the window perch that we have has two metal legs that stick to the window perch and up against the wall. And then hook loop fastening strip that goes on the window sill and holds the window perch in place. And I like this because you don't need any power tools. You don't have to make any holes. It literally just sticks on the window sill. And I put it over the condo for added support. It also comes with memory foam and a removable washable cover, which is great. Next cat essential that your cat will love is his own cat beds. Even if your cat cuddles in bed with you every night, Jericho cuddles with me every time I lay down. He loves sleeping with me in bed. But having cat private cat beds is super important because it can provide a nice hiding spot and it can provide a comfy area for him to nestle up and, and you know, hold in that warmth maybe while you're at work or out with people. And maybe if your friends come over and they need a place to go and hide and be comfy until they're comfortable with the situation, the bed will provide that for you. And I like this bed, well, provide that for your cat. I like this bed because it folds down so Jericho can lay like this. It also folds up so it's kind of like an enclosed area. In the morning, he likes to lay like this. And in the afternoon, he he goes in inside and kind of bumps it up himself if I'm not around. The next cat essential that is super important and unfortunately overlooked is the litter box. Cats are very clean creatures. Just think of how many times a day your cat cleans himself and they prefer and deserve a clean bathroom just like all of us. You know, cats don't want to walk around on pee pee and poopy litter. And a clean litter box can help prevent stress help prevent behavior issues and can also help prevent health issues. Because if you think about it, if the cat isn't comfortable using the box, he's gonna find somewhere else to go. And this is stressful and it can cause behavior issues for your cat because he's stressed. And it can cause health issues because maybe he doesn't feel comfortable going into the litter box or outside the litter box because cats don't wanna soil their environment. They're very clean creatures, again. So what I do is scoop after Jericho goes every single time he goes. That way, when he enters the litter box, it's always clean. And I also clean it out completely once a week. I spend about five minutes a week doing this. So I use a stainless steel box because plastic traps bacteria and even with regular washing. But with the stainless steel litter box, even when the cat scratches when he's digging and burying, the claws aren't going to penetrate the material, so there's not going to be scratches for bacteria to lodge in and grow and populate. So I use the stainless steel litter box because it's also a one-time investment. You don't have to replace it like you would with plastic. So you buy it once, better for your wallet, better for your cat, better for the environment. I also use unscented, naturally clumping litter. I've done many litter reviews, and unfortunately there is no such thing as the best but this walnut litter, it's walnut shells, is the best that I've come by so far. Because it's unscented, they use a food grade bean additive to make it clump. I emailed them about this and asked, and they use the walnut shell, which is less likely to grow aflatoxin mold than the actual walnut itself. And the walnuts are grown in the US, the manufacturing company is in the US, that's where I live, so that's why I choose it. And I put it in this huge mound in the middle and leave the front and back open. So I put a huge mound, four inches, what cats typically prefer, right in the middle and I reshape that mound after I scoop. And I do this because I've noticed that Jericho kind of hops around in the box and doesn't like to walk on litter. I mean, I, I don't either, I don't know what cat would. So I do this mound and leave the space 
empty so that Jericho can walk and enter the box without having to walk on litter. Then he can dig, do his business, and then have some of the sides to walk around without walking in litter all the time. And if it happens to get low, I just refill it when necessary. So for track litter, I use the Ripple Rug bottom only. The Ripple Rug is an amazing activity mat. I talk about it a lot. Great for mental stimulation and play and enrichment but you can also buy the top and bottom separately. So I bought the bottom only because it's large, it's safe for cats to use, it's made specifically for cats. It's soft on paws, it does trap track litter, and it's easy to clean. You can just throw it in the wash, cold delicate cycle, and then hang dry. So it's really large and it takes up a lot of area. It fits perfectly with the stainless steel litter box. That's what I use for the trap litter. Another option would be the double layer litter mat. So it kind of looks like a honeycomb and then there's a bottom flat part under it. This is, this is good at trapping track litter and it's much easier to clean than those mesh looking ones because those mesh ones are good at trapping the litter but not good at cleaning. <laughs> In the closet right next to the box, that's where I keep the other litter supplies. So I have a DIY litter genie. It's just a glass candy jug and a plastic bag. Then I have this organizer where I have a mask that I use while I scoop Jericho's litter box, the litter scoop itself, and I have some urine test strips that I use here and there to make sure his pH and everything is good. Now, unfortunately, this is plastic, but it doesn't touch the waste itself because I I wipe off the scoop every time I put it in back into the organizer. I clean everything out completely once a week. You can check out my five minute a week litter cleaning right over, yeah. Thanks for watching.